One of the Colorado Department of Transportation's main missions is to provide safe travel for people on our roadways. When crashes occur, we mitigate the severity by installing and maintaining protective systems. Protection comes in different forms for different purposes. One big purpose is to keep crash proximity to a minimum. Barriers serve that purpose. There are many types of barrier systems, and one CDOT adopted in the early 2000s is Cable Barrier. You may be curious as to why CDOT chooses to install cable barriers, what makes Cable Barrier different from other systems, and how effective it is. Will no single barrier system, whether it be concrete, solid steel, or cables, work for every road? Slopes, curves, surrounding environment, number of lanes, as well as designated speeds all play into the deciding factor. Cable barriers work well for long stretches that encounter heavy snow drifts, subtle grades and curves, and two-lane higher speed roads that have a history of head-on crashes. Safety is top priority when we make a decision on what to install, and we have to build something that will work for the most severe scenarios. Cable barrier helps prevent crashes from colliding with oncoming traffic and also acts to entangle vehicles that crash at severe angles, instead of deflecting back into traffic. Minimizing intensity is the key here. We want to slow the crash down, not stop it immediately. And when crashes do occur, the damage to vehicles is less severe. The numbers prove that severe crashes were drastically reduced in areas across the state when cable rail was installed. Let's look at some numbers. Here we will look at three different studies done at three different locations along Interstate 76. The time periods range comparatively in five-year durations. At location one, before we installed cable rail, we had 17 crashes that involved crossing the median. After installation of a new cable barrier, that number was reduced to five. Cross median fatalities went from two to zero and injuries went from 17 to four. Now location two, before installation, there were 12 rollovers and after installation, only two. Head-on collisions were reduced from five to zero and total injuries were reduced from 10 to one. Now moving to location three, before installation, there were four head-on collisions and after installation, it was reduced to zero. One fatality prior reduced to zero, 21 injuries reduced to one. The biggest thing to look at at all three sites was the reduction of injuries and zero deaths. Another major factor that is considered is the way snow interacts with the surrounding terrain and our roadways. We try to mitigate accumulation. So where high winds blow the snow across the roadway, we need to allow the snow to pass and not build up. Cable rail does this due to its slender and open design. Year-round accumulation of dirt and debris is also minimized. In addition to safe and clear roads, cable barriers have the secondary benefits of lower costs. Repairs require smaller crews, lighter materials, and tools, and most repairs are minimal. Materials, installation, and repairs are less expensive across the board. Supply accessibility is similar to other barriers as cable rail is commonly used nationwide. Let's take a look at what makes up a cable barrier system. Cables are strung under tension and are threaded through slender posts. These posts are seated into metal sleeves encased in concrete. Cables are set to a certain height and span to minimize any chance a vehicle can pass through. Posts are made not to withstand impact, but slow the impact so they bend or break. A single system can protect traffic from both directions. Not only are the numbers showing positive results, but past experiences from crash survivors and emergency response teams have witnessed that these systems may have been the leading factor in saving lives. I'm Sergeant Blake White, and I've worked for the Colorado State Patrol for over 13 years. In these years, I've seen numerous crashes throughout the state that involved a variety of factors, including barrier methods such as guardrails and cable rails. What's unique about the cable rail is it actually helps stop vehicles and guide them. So the tires, the, the metal, it may become entangled in the cable rail, but that helps save the driver's life as well as the other travelers on the roadway. Now I've seen this be effective in multiple areas of the state. And I remember a specific location that I worked early on in my career, a vehicle traveled off through the center median and into oncoming traffic. Unfortunately, someone was killed in that crash. 
Once the cable rails were installed, I started to see the benefit of them. I watched as vehicles of different sizes, trucks, semis, whatever it was, were becoming entangled or stopped by these cable rails. Having them helps keep drivers safe and alive. If somebody falls asleep, if somebody is impaired or just not paying attention and they drift off, prior to these being installed, that could be a fatal crash. Now with these being installed, that brings those vehicles to a safe stop and help save the lives of those oncoming vehicles as well as the driver of the vehicle that drifted off the roadway. They may not prevent every type of crash, but they help keep you and other drivers safe and alive on Colorado's roadways. Cable barriers have been an efficient tool to protect people on Colorado's roads. On your next trip, you may start to realize where the cable barrier is placed along your roadways. CDOT has installations all throughout the state predominantly on our interstates. I-25 North and South are reaping the benefits along with I-70 and secondary highways. Where systems are currently being installed, we predict a great return of investment by saving lives and minimizing costs. And we will continue to investigate where cable barriers can do a better job of safeguarding people on our roads. For more information, visit our website at codot.gov.